Hi, Room 12. Since we have been learning all about measurement in our goal math chapter 11, I thought that I would share this short book with you. It's called Measure It by Joyce Markovex. Let's measure together. We measure to find out the size or weight of objects. What can we measure? Almost anything. The weight of an object means how heavy or how light something feels. We can use a scale, like in the picture, to measure weight, or we can lift things with our hands. I bet you compared weights of objects in your measurement scavenger hunt today just by lifting. Weight tells us how heavy something is. How much does the walrus weigh? Well, let's make a prediction. We don't even need a scale to tell us that the walrus is probably pretty heavy. Just by looking at him, we can tell. The walrus weighs a lot. We were right. The fish weighs less than the walrus. How do you know? Well, take a look. There are two ways we can know. If we look at the walrus and look at the fish, we can pretty much decide that the fish weighs much less than the walrus, and the walrus is much heavier than the fish. But right here, they show us this measurement from the scale. The scale says the walrus is 2,000 pounds, while the fish on the tinier scale is only 10 pounds. So the fish is lighter than the walrus, and the walrus is heavier than the fish. Think about a time that you might have gotten on a scale. Right, at the doctor. I always get on a scale when I go to the doctor. The scale tells us how much we weigh. Let Now let's measure the length of a snake. The snake is as long as the ruler. Put your finger on your nose if you have ever seen a ruler before. Yeah, a ruler kind of looks like a stick, but it has measurement in inches and measurement in tiny, tiny units of measurement called a centimeter. You'll see rulers in your classroom when you go on to first and second grade. Ruler measures how long or short an object is. Which snake is longer, the green snake or the brown snake? What do you think? Right, the green snake is longer than the brown snake. It reaches farther than the brown snake does. How tall is the ostrich? The ostrich is very tall. It is six feet. That is the size of six rulers put together. Wow. And the boy is four feet. We know that six is greater than four. But if we look at the two, the ostrich and the boy, we can see the height of the ostrich is taller than the height of the boy. Look at these feathers. Can you tell which one is the shortest? I bet you can. We can also measure time. Now, time is something that we're not learning in kindergarten, but you'll touch on it definitely in first and second grade. We can look at the sun. Is it daytime or nighttime at the zoo? What do you think? Right, it's daytime. And how do we know? Because the sun is shining, the sun shines during the day, not at night. We can also use clocks to tell the time. What else can we measure? <gasps> Let's look here at our, at our illustration. This is a thermometer. Who knows what a thermometer measures? Right, temperature. We can measure temperature to see how hot or cold something is. Is it hot or cold where the penguins live? What do we think? Right, cold because of the snow and why else? 
Oh, because the color of the thermometer is blue, not red like it was before. Brr, it's cold. It was fun to measure together. Now, I hope you enjoyed learning about different ways to measure objects. I cannot wait to see what objects you found in your measurement scavenger hunt and which objects you brought to our Google Meets today. Happy measuring!